Ooh, welcome back everybody. We're going to jump back in and actually to some normal runs. We did unlock a new character though, so let's check that out. Back to the normal levels. Nothing fancy here. And we're actually just going to try to level up as high as possible. Don't expect to get to 60. You need to get to 60 to unlock the next thing. But I do have the guide on now. I found this. Um. So, I guess we'll just do the Santa water and try to level up what we have, or should I try to add something new? Let me look at the Santa water again. Let me go over to my... Little spreadsheet here. Santa Wata, bad with speed. We don't have anything to pair it with yet. Nor Rune Tracer, nor Cross, so yeah. We'll just do this. And so I guess the thing to do... I don't know what the thing to do is. I'm just gonna level up. Okay. The knife can be paired with the bracer to evolve and the whip. I don't like the whip, so... Maybe all the more reason to use it more often. There is not anything... Anyway, whatever. Just use the knife. Whoa! What in the world? Why is it huge? What's this person's deal again? Oh yeah, that's right. It's like a triple area bonus. That's absurd. And it's funny. And they heal themselves. I like how the water, it like clears the area and then you can quite easily get any of the items they drop because the damage stays there for a while. Yep. I just don't like how long it takes. Oh. oh there we go. So... I guess the armor... I'm about to get another thing of armor, or I'm trying to anyway. Oh, okay. So yeah, the area buff just decreased. Interesting, this person is interesting. I don't think I like it, but it's interesting. And like, it'll be, yeah, I was about to say, it'll be good for stuff like this, because... Gosh, yeah, I don't think I like this person that much. They heal a lot, and that's nice. I yeah, see, I'm already almost back up to full health. Um, I guess we'll do the spinach. Now I think we're back to normal, right? Yep, normal area. What I'm trying to do right now is see, is it worth it? Well, I'm testing out this person, of course. I'm also trying to see if it's worth it to hunt down these items. Or should I just leave them there? Stick to my little location, try to get the highest level possible. What should I be prioritizing? Because my gut says... Uh oh. Uh, so it's just... Extra armor. It's literally it. So not worth it. And now we're gonna die. Yep. I don't think I like that person much at all. Okay. 
So, yes, now is when we're going to try to save up now for revival. Sheesh. Anyway. Uh, so, let's, yeah, start. Let's go with my boy Poe. And start. And dairy plant. And start. I think priority number one needs to be to unlock the stages. Because the stages have the relics. The relics are nice. Um, so where are we at with the garlic is bad with speed, duration, and amount. And evolves with pum pumarola. So let's just level up the garlic straight up. Thank you. So again, we'll just play the cautious game of trying to get to... See, we don't have... Oh, we don't have Santa Water either, never mind. I was going to say, we don't have the passive item that evolves with either of these two. So, I think we take the Rune Tracer. That's what was getting us so fine last time. Otherwise, I'm just going to stay right here. Thank you very much. This game is truly mesmerizing. It keeps making my eyes just like it's straight up lose focus. Either that or I've just been staring at the TV screen for too long. Um, uh, Lightning ring. See, we don't have the thing that evolves with that either. It is pretty good. Probably just get the hollow heart. Yeah, or the clover. Yeah, let's go with clover. God, how did what what dictates these things appearing, right? Nothing? Anything? They just appear. And like they don't hurt me or anything. Actually, we're gonna see if we can hide the guides. There we go. Oh, gosh. Uh, so, yeah. Area or might? We don't need another clover. Or do we? And eh, no. So let's get the candelabra. Level up the Rune Tracer. Level up the Clover. And now we play the waiting game. Oh gosh, those lizards. I don't think they like the waiting game. Thank you, garlic. Um, so again, garlic is bad with duration, speed, and amount. So I think we just go with Rune Tracer. Level that up, get that better. Oh, I'm almost dead already. Oh my god, I died. I got zero coins. Alright, I think this is going to be a case where... It might 
behoove me and you to work on some of the earlier levels first. Like, we beat level two, basically. We beat stage two. Maybe we should go back and try to beat stage one. Let me actually read these. Once a thriving haven, now a dumping ground for evil. A vampire is said to be the root of this evil, but we can find only mayhem and roast chicken. In the mad forest. So what's all here, too? We got... Yeah, there's the coffin up there. And I don't know what that's... Wait, isn't that skull? Or is that a curse? Huh. Well, I vote we go down. I'm gonna try to collect some of this stuff. Just slowly walk. Oh. Kill things along the way, though, because, yeah, we do want. Get us the King Bible. Although, isn't the King Bible the other thing that we don't have? Yeah. We don't have the ability to evolve it yet. Everything is just so slow. I think I'm just gonna stay here. Until I get to, again, my, I'll use my tactic of not really doing a whole lot until I get to level 5. So, yep, up the garlic. Up the super bat. Ah, gosh. All right, we do have the ability, yeah. And we're gonna wanna use that. So see, this is where, stop, stop messing with the microphone, cat. Get down. My little spreadsheet helps, right? The ax evolves with the candelabra. And the candelabra is very good with the garlic, so. Whereas the magic wand evolves with the empty tome, which does nothing for... Ooh, excuse me, does nothing for the garlic. And then armor is just armor, so axe it is. And then we get another thing, so now we might take up the magic wand just to diversify. Or do we want the whip? Because it pairs with the hollow heart, and there's a hollow heart up there. So I like that idea. I don't like the whip as a weapon, but hey, it's not nothing. All right, I'm gonna pause because my cat is bugging the crap out of me. No, never mind. All right, we're good. I'm trying to head down to get that Puma Laura or whatever, Puma Rolla. Oh, Jeebus. So now we'll probably... Oh, no. King Bible, yeah. Forgot we were even getting the King Bible. I feel like this is not worth it, like running down these items. Because you're foregoing a bunch of, you know, experience. Um. I'll probably just keep leveling up the whip, because here's the combo, but I don't have either half, and I only get to pick one, so. Okay, that's kind of neat. No, it fires in both directions now. Just 
starting to rethink this whip situation. It might not be so bad. Um, yeah, let's keep leveling up the garlic. these things there's a oh jeez okay oh my man you really do have no health with that guy all right try it again maybe try a different person no I mean it's he's good he's fine Take a sip of coffee, though. Again, I can't help but think I'm making a wrong decision by going down here to get this thing. I feel like maybe who? Here's an idea. Let's wait until we're level 5, beeline down to that item, wait until we're level 10, beeline to the next one, so on and so forth. So we have everything, maybe that's what you're supposed to do? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, X. Stupid blue bat. You're freaking me out, man. Ah. Oh. Or I could just find it here. I mean, yeah. It's better than the duplicator. Right now. And some extra garlic. We're level 5 yet? Nope. Almost. One more. Now let's make a beeline down south to this thing. Ah, come on. Oh, I thought that was a little totem we could break. Never mind. A little skull on a stick. Just ignore those guys. We're just going straight to the thing. I think this is probably better suited if you're playing on hyper mode because the movement speed is increased by like a million percent. Whereas on normal mode you're just so slow. Are we even close? Oh, we're close. But I mean, even if we are close, we're so far away from everything else.
Alright, Rune Tracer again. Gotta be close. The needle's really moving. There it is. Just in time for minute four. And if I go in there, yeah. <laughs> okay. So note to self, it is not worth it. On normal mode, it is not worth it to get those items. Not unless I bust bump my speed up infinitely. Alright, we're gonna do this one more try, I think. How much time are we at? Yeah, one more try. And yeah, I guess with Poe. And this time we're just gonna stand still, more or less. At least for a while. So let's turn these off. Okay. Well, I want to get more evolution weapons, so I'm gonna go with the magic wand, because that at least we have the chance to. Oh, that's not good. Come on, audio. There we go. And then magic wand. Labra. Nope, just coin, coin, more coin. Where's the chicken? No chicken. Uh, now do we get King Bible or Axe? We probably get Axe, yeah. If our goal is to try to get evolution weapons, then we want X. Magic wand or axe? Nah, we'll do magic wand. We got that first. I think you want to try to stick to one weapon for as long as possible. I'm assuming. That's my thought. Anyway, that's my thought process. Oh, there's some chicken. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, now axe. Oh, there's two projectiles. That's pretty good. And we'll just stay here. Uh, yeah, 
that garlic. Just in time for the next wave. Still just kind of standing here. Oh, not anymore. Uh, come on. Let me through. Uh, see, that's a problem. There's a quest for getting the pentagram up to like level 7, but I don't like the pentagram at all. But I think I have to pick it. I really don't like it. I think I might even make like a tier list. Treasure, give me that treasure. Sweet. And a bunch of gold. Ah. Uh, yeah, so axe. I need some help. Uh, I'm gonna die. I'm definitely dead. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Not dead. Alright, sorry. Experience, but I'm out of here. Alright, where's some torches? I need some of that sweet, sweet chicken. Come on. Nope. Uh-oh. We're good. Ah, uh, here come the praying mantis. Oh, wow. Actually came up a very good time. Oh, but it doesn't matter. There's no way I'm killing these things. Look how much damage they take. Yeah, no way. How did I... Oh, I died. How did I do this last time? Alright, well, at least I made some gold. How much gold? 15,907, so I still need like a thousand gold. Okie dokie, well, that's enough for now. I've got some pets i got to feed, so I will come back, do some thinking about maybe Poe's not my boy. Who is? I guess it doesn't really matter. Projectiles get 10% faster every five levels. Gain 10% more experience. These three are probably pretty good. The starting weapon for Gennaro is not great, but... And then did we really give him a good chance? Weapon cooldown? That could be good. Weapon cooldown affects a lot of things. Or maybe I should take a look at my spreadsheet over here. I got this spreadsheet right. Like right now, duration... Is like the most... Use... The least useful. Most useless. I don't know how you would want to phrase that. Excuse me. Because it's good with four things. Neutral with two things. But then it's terrible for four, nine, ten things. As in completely useless. Like it doesn't affect ten weapons. And it's okay with two of them. And then it's pretty good with four of them. So that's six, either great or good, and then ten, literal useless. So, you don't want duration. What's the most... See, cooldown has no downside. There's no weapon where cooldown is useless. And it's the only one. It's the only column. 
So maybe Arca is the way to go. We'll give that a try next time. See how Arca does. I feel like this should be good. Because you just never die, but you just have a terrible starting weapon, so you have to get like a really good weapon at the beginning. Alright, well, whatever. We'll do, like I said, we'll do some experimentation next time. So until then, stay safe.